what's up youtube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try in this tutorial I'll be showing how to easily color grade your photos using photoshop and later on we are going to be using capture to color grade basically the same very image so we are going to be color grading this very image so in order to import the raw file into photoshop simply right click on the photo that you want to edit or color grade and come to open with and select photoshop or the version that you're using so this is the photo that we have right now in photoshop and as you can see the very first thing you have to take into consideration is correcting the contrast values or the lighting issues regarding this very image so i just come to the basic slider right here at the basic panel and i just come and take the highlights down because the outfit was overly blown out you can see how the details are now coming back and i'll just come and take the whites down a little bit so i think that is okay and i'll just come and add some contrast to the image to around eight and i'll open up the shadows of this very image then if at all you're having more greens or magentas you can play around with, with the tint slider so i'll just come and slightly warm up the image to around 5200 kelvins then we are done correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image so the next thing that we are going to do, we are just going to come down to our color mixer option and we are going to scroll down because I just want her to complement the background I, I don't want attention to be taken from the subject in this case so I'll come to my hues and uh, when you're playing around with the hue slider you can notice that moving this slider towards the right hand side you're going to make a color look like a color below it that is the aquas and moving it towards the left hand side you're making it look like a color on top of it which is the yellows so in this case i just want to make the greens more to the aqua side and i'll do the same for the yellows just to the green side and you can see right now the model is complementing the background and she's popping and the image is actually popping so I just come to the saturation and saturation is the intensity of a given color so i'll slightly desaturate the image all the greens in the photo and i'll do the same for the yellows just like that so right now we are done working on the lighting and contrast issues so i'll just come back to my basic panel right here and i'll slightly add a tiny bit of warmth to 5300 5, kelvins then just come right here to open in order to open the image into photoshop so it is going to load into photoshop and when it comes to photoshop the very first thing you have to do i'm just going to crop the image slightly in a ratio of 4 by 5 or 8 by 10 so I just crop it in a little bit just like that and hit enter so you are focusing more on color grading so don't mind if at all we still have this in this tutorial so in order to color grade and have uniform skin tones what we are going to do, we are going to come to the adjustment layers right here and simply come to gradient map. So when you click on gradient map, it's going to open up the gradient icon and apply the gradient all over the image. And this may be looking weird for your case. So what you have to do, select the gradient icon right here and deactivate the gradient layer. Single click on the gradient color to open up the gradient editor dialog box right here in to Photoshop. So you can start to have two pointers one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side so in this case we just want to get even skin tones for the model so single click on this left hand pointer right there and as soon as you single click on it just come and measure the sample set to five by five average and simply come and left click on the color option and you look for the darkest point in the skin or on the skin tone and single click on it come and click ok then left click on the brightest point of the skin and single click on the color option look for the brightest point of the skin tone just click on it or you can as well click and move wherever you want so i'm just going to choose the brightest point right there and hit ok then click in the middle and type in 50 on the location for the pointer to be right in the middle then left click on the color option and choose a color to represent the midtones in this case just come and click ok then come right here and also click ok 
then you are going to come right here and now activate the gradient layer come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color and you can see that this effect is affecting the overall image in this case so what we want to do just want the effect only affect the skin tone so just come and select the white layer mask right here and press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect then come and get the brush tool right here make sure it is the normal brush tool and the hardness is set to zero and it is a soft round brush the mode is set to normal opacity at 100 percent flow at 100 percent and also make sure to have black and red white on these two color swatches or you can reset these colors if at all you have any other colors by pressing d on the keyboard so d is going to reset and put black and white on these two color swatches then to switch between black and white you can use x on the keyboard so make sure white is the top box or the top color right here so with the brush tool selected you can now increase on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and if at all your brush is showing a plus icon simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard and now we are going to only paint on uh, the model skin just like that so i'm just going to only paint on the model skin so I just do a very quick process right here reduce on the size and also paint on every area that is containing a skin so i'm just going to paint just like that and you can see the skin tone is now getting look even so i'll just come the hand area and continue painting just like that so take your time as you're trying to do this and if at all you accidentally paint in a given area that you're not meant to paint at simply switch the brush back to black and can erase the effect from that area so i'm just going to use white to reveal the color grading in those areas so i'm just going to paint just like that and i want to erase it from this area so I'll just come and erase so you can set to have also painted on the lipstick or the makeup of the model so I'll just switch the brush back to black and i just want to reveal the original color of the lipstick so i'll just come and paint just like that and uh, get it out from the eyebrows just like that and get it out from the eyes in this case to reveal back the original eye color so if at all you have maybe eyeshadow you can erase it from the eyeshadow so this is what we have right now and let me show you the, a quick before and after for the skin tone this is a before after before after before and after so you can as well erase it from this area if at all you have accidentally painted on it so before after the skin is looking uniform so if at all it is too much for your liking you can come and uh, reduce on the opacity to around maybe 77 is fine then you can add contrast to a skin tone so if at all the skin is looking a little bit weird and you have no contrast just come and create a black and red adjustment layer change the blend mode from normal and change it to multiply and drop down the opacity just like that to around eight is fine and this is going to add contrast to the skin tone that's the before and after then just come and create one more adjustment layer which is the selective color and simply come to the blacks and you can now come to the black channel and intensify the blacks that just like that so this is the before and after the color grading process within a uh, photoshop and you can see that we have even and nice skin tones for our subject so if at all you want to learn how to color grade using capture one i'm going to switch to capture one and i show you the easy way of color grading when it comes to capture and so right now we have basically uh the same image so I'll just crop the image come the crop tool and crop the image in a ratio of four by five and i'll just take it down like that and hit enter so basically we have the same image in capture and so when it comes to capture one and you want to edit better we are going to basically use more of the same technique correcting the exposure issues and also the lighting corrections so I'll just come the high dynamic range in capture one 
and by the way if at all you're missing any tool within your caption simply right click anywhere here and you can add any tool that you're missing in your capture one so first of all correct correct the highlights of the image by taking the highlight slider down and i'll do the same for our whites just like that then after doing that i'm just going to come and slightly warm up the image like we did uh, in photoshop then i'll come and add contrast to the image to around six that is okay and open up the shadows then we are going to come i think that is too much so we are going to come to our levels in capture one and just drag in the black point just like that add contrast and also drag as uh, white point then after we have done this the next thing is going to be working on the skin tone so that we can create even skin tone transitions in this very image so in order to do that simply come and right click on the plus icon so you you right click on the plus icon so when you right click on the plus icon remember we only want the color grading to be on a separate layer so we are going to right click right here on this plus icon and just come and create a new field adjustment layer right here so a new field adjustment layer is going to affect the overall image in this case so when it comes to this step we only want first of all color grade first of all at the background and get the best out of the colors in the background so we are going to come to our color editor and simply come to our basic panel and we're going to come to the greens and hue the greens towards the aquas just like that and they're also going to hue the yellows towards uh, the green side just like that to make the model pop out of the background so just come and reduce on the saturation of the greens if at all it is too much for your liking and we are going to do the same basically and reduce on the saturation of the yellows because we don't want the image to be or to contain so much contrast so after doing that we are going to come back to our exposure panel i feel like the image is too bright so i'll just reduce on the exposure slightly then after we have done that we are going to create another new field adjustment layer so the reason for working with layers is because if at all we overdo maybe the color grading we can always come and select a layer and reduce on the opacity so create another new field adjustment layer and we are going to come down to our color editor tool in capture one and come to skin tone because we just want to create uniform skin tone but for this case when we are going to work on the skin tone in this case you can see the outfit she's putting on is also falling in the range of the skin tones so just come and select the color picker tool right here and now zoom into the image right there so with the color picker tool selected just sample an area you want the rest of the skin to resemble or look like so i'm just going to get this and choose this area right on the cheek area you can see it has sampled or chosen colors that range within the skin tone selection so we are going to come to where it says uniformity and we are going to come to the hue slider and take up that slider up when we feel like the skin is looking uniform and we're going to come to the saturation and also intensify or increase on the saturation in this case so i think that looks okay so if at all you have done this step and the image you can see that the outfit is also changing as you're working on the skin tone so when it comes to the amount slider if at all you're having more reds or magentas after unifying the skin tone you can come to the amount and either add greens or magentas to add the skin tone so in this case you can see you can either add magentas to the skin and that is going to make uh, the skin look a little bit red in color or you can add greens if at all the skin was initially looking more on the red side and that is going to make the skin look better and look warmer in this case so i'm just going to add a tiny bit and just add a tiny bit of saturation but we have one issue you can see that the outfit of the model has also been changed in this case so what we have to do we are going to come to our layer that we created 
Remember, it is a new field adjustment layer. So if I told you press M to show you the mask, it is affecting the overall image. That is why even the color of the outfit was changing or it changed. So we are going to right click on the layer. So just come and right click on the layer and just come right here and you clear the mask. So when you clear the mask, it is going to hide the color grading. So just come and get the brush tool in capture one. And with the brush tool selected, simply press M on the keyboard. So when you press M and you start painting on the skin, it is going to show you that you're now painting back the color grading on the skin. So I'm just going to be doing this quickly, just like that. So I'm just going to paint quickly, just like that. You can see that it is now getting us nicer and better results. So I've painted on the skin and I have tried to inform it. So just be careful not to paint on the outfit because that is going to change the outfit. So just come to also the hands and now mask out and paint on only as the hands to also create this kind of uniformity on the hands. So every area that contains skin just paint using the brush and it's going to paint back the color grading that we hid initially at uh, before. So to hide the mask, simply press M on the keyboard and to remove the color grading from the lips, you are going to get the eraser tool in Capture One and just come and using the eraser tool, it is going to basically rub the color grading, for example, from the lips of our subject or from the lips of the model just there and also erase it from the eyes. So let me show you a quick before and after for the color grading in Capture One. I'll just come and turn on the before and after slider. So this was the image before, after, before, after, before and after. So this is how you can easily color grade. And after editing, you can open the image into Photoshop by coming to image, edit with and open the image into Photoshop to do the final adjustments like skin retouching and eye whitening and later on saving your image. So this is it for this video. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching. And you're not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.